Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss how we can hide a related list without using any code. We are going to follow the approach of no code. Mostly what we do is that we create a client script or UI policy and in the script field, we use the g underscore form object with the help of which we call the methods. So related list to show the related list and hide related list to hide the related list. Both the methods accept the parameters and parameters passed into these methods is list table name in a string format. And sometimes it's get difficult to get the list table name. Hence, we are going to use a simple method of hiding the related list without using any code. Let's start the demo of it now. Now we are going to see the demo how we can hide a related list without using any code. So this is the incident form on the screen which you are seeing. And in the incident form, there are related lists. If we scroll down, we can see there are related lists like tasks, SLAs, affected CIs, impacted services, slash CIs, and child incidents. So we are going to hide this particular related list that is child incidents. Firstly, we are going to get the name of this related list. How we can get it? We can click on this additional actions configure related list once it open in the right slash bucket we can see after service offerings there is a related list incident arrow parent incident okay so this one is the child incident related list and from here also you can identify with the logic that this related list is going to display all the incidents which are the child incident of this particular so wherever is the parent incident is this all the records will be displaying here so it will be like incident arrow parent incidents so this is the list name now we are going to hide it without using any code so for that we are going to create a ui policy yes correct uh, ui policy we are going to click on additional actions again and in configure go to ui policies okay now the list of USA related to incident table display here and we are going to click on new let the form open completely okay we are going to give the sort description hide child incidents related list okay and if you want to give any type of conditions you can give it here according to your scenarios and if you want that the particular UI policies runs on load of a form, then check this checkbox. Okay, right now we are not giving any condition here. We are just going to hide the child incident related list without any condition. So just save the UI policy. Okay, once the UI policy is saved, you will see the related list of UI policy. So in the related list, you are seeing UI policy related list actions. So here we are going to add a record in UI policy related list actions with the help of which we are going to hide the related list. If this particular related list actions is not visible in UI policy, what you can do is that click on this additional actions, configure, click on related lists and bring this particular UI policy related list action arrow UI policy in the right slash bucket from the left slash bucket and save it go back and click on new once we click on it we have to select the list name if you remember the list name was incident parent incident visible false submit now when we reload the incident form our child incident related list will not be visible so let's quickly reopen that incident form our incident form is loaded and if we scroll, we see that the child incident related list is not appearing. That's how you can hide the related list without using any code. Okay. But at the last, it all depends upon the scenarios. What is the condition to you? Whether it's going to hide on some conditions, put up some condition in UI policy, or whether it's going to hide on some other condition, then whatever is best suitable for your scenario, you can do that. Either you can write the code or you can use the no code approach. Okay, so this was the end of the video. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, do share the videos with others. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.